In this lesson, we're going to look at some of the harder examples of differentiation. The most important thing to remember is how to set the function up for differentiation. Natural differentiation usually isn't that hard. It's more the setting up of the function before you differentiate. In this case here, this first example, we must multiply out the brackets accurately. So do that before you differentiate. Notice I've not put f dash x because I haven't differentiated yet. I'm just going to multiply out the brackets. 2x times x is 2x squared. Then you're going to have a 2x and a minus 6x, which gives you minus 4. You can take longer to do this. I've just done it quickly here. And you've got 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. Now I can differentiate. Multiply down, reduce by 1. And then minus 4 here. In this second example, when you see something like this to set it up for differentiation, there's a few ways to do it. You can either take the x squared up and make it x to the minus 2 and put brackets here. I prefer to split it up into three separate divisions. x cubed over x squared plus 4x squared over x squared take away x over x squared like this. Then we can do indice work from intermediate 2 or national 5. When you divide indices, you subtract them. So that becomes x. Notice I haven't differentiated yet. I'm just setting it up for differentiation. The x squared will cancel. That becomes 4. And this is really 1. Take away 2. That's negative 1. So we've prepared it for differentiation. Now we can do that. So f dash x equals 1. That would be 1x, so that would just go to 1. This goes to 0, and then you multiply down by the negative 1. So that's negative times negative 1, which is plus, And then that goes to x to negative 2. Finish it off. Change your powers to positive powers. So take that down below and make it x squared. So it's 1 over x squared. So the answer is f dash to x equals 1 plus 1 over x squared. In this next example, there's a few things we need to do before we can differentiate. Change any roots into fractional indices. So that's a half, and this is a half. You need to be very good at these things before you can actually differentiate. So that's x to the power of half times x to the power of 4 plus x to the power of half. Now multiply the indices. This means add the 4 and the half. People think that means 4 times a half, but when you add indices, Sorry, when you multiply indices, you add them. So that becomes 9 over 2. 4 and a half is 9 over 2. And that becomes a half plus a half, which is 1. So that's just x. Now we can differentiate. Take the 9 over 2 down and reduce it by 1. To reduce this by 1, you're taking away 2 halves. So that's going to go to 7. So 9 over 2x to the 7 over 2. And this just goes to plus 1. Now, to take it a step further, what you want to do is change that into a root and a power so that if you wanted to put a value or substitute a value into it, you were able to do that. At this point in time, we wouldn't know what x to the power of 7 over 2 is if x was 6 or 8. So you need to change that into a root and a power. Now, the bottom value is your root, so that's the square root of x to the power 7. So this is your root and that's your power. So it's 9 over 2 times the square root of x to the power 7 plus 1. And that's us done. Okay, in the final example here, we're actually going to look at a real life example. This is a ski slope and we're asked to calculate the gradient of the slope 4 meters horizontally from the start of the slope. This requires us to differentiate this and then substitute 4 in to work out the gradient. So we take our function here and we do as we've done in the other examples. Change your roots into fractions and then split it up. Okay, So I've changed that into d to the half and then I've taken the 4d over this, take away the 2d to the 3 over 2 over this. We can then subtract our indices. So we've got 4d to the power 1, if you like. So 1 take away a half is a half. So that's going to go to 4d to the half. 
And then we've got three halves take away a half. And that just leaves you with one. So that's going to be take away 2d to the power of 1, which is just 2d. We have not differentiated yet. We've just changed the form of it into a form where we can differentiate. So h dash d, multiply the half down, reduce it by 1. So that goes to negative a half. And then that's going to be a subtract 2. At this point, we can't substitute the 4 in yet. We need to change that power into a positive power and also a root. So take it down below and make it a square root. Now we can substitute the 4 in. So what we have here is h dash 4 equals 2 over square root of 4 take away 2, which comes to 2 over 2 take away 2. This just goes to 1. So it's 1 take away 2, which is negative 1. A wee statement to finish it off. The gradient of the slope 4 metres after the start is negative 1. So that part there, this gradient, if you were to draw a tangent down here, would be negative 1.